isa-isahin natin itong limang ratio and proportion na problems. Number one. The mayor is going to give a reward money to those who found the lost child of her sister. He will give 20, ilan bang zero ito? Limang zero. So, this is 2 million, 2.5 million or 2 million 500,000 pesos to Eric, Rico, Ben, and Kara. If they decided that the distribution of the reward will be 3 by 2 by 2 and by 1, how much money will Rico receive or how much money Rico will get? Is it A, 615,000, B, 620,000 or 600,000 or letter D, 625,000? Ang gagawin mo lang ay i-add mo ito. 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 and that is equals to 8. Yan ang pang-divide mo dito sa 2,500,000. Itong 8 na yan. By the way, paano gumaling sa math? Kung ang lesson nyo ay about sa division, huwag pong kalimutan kung paano mag-divide. Kasi pagdating sa ratio and proportion, mag-divide pa rin tayo. So, ang 2, ilang 8 ba sa 2? Wala. So, doon ka sa next, 25. Ilang 8 sa 25? Tatlo. 3 times 8, and that is equals to 24. Now, 24, 25 minus 24 equals to 1. I bring down mo si 0. Ilang 8 sa 10? Isa lang. 8 times 1, that is equals to 8. 10 minus 8 is equals to 2. Bring down ulit ang isa pang 0. Ilang 8 sa 20? 2. 2 times 8 is equals to 16. 20 minus 16 is equals to 4. Bring down ulit ang isa pang 0. Ilang 8 sa 40? 5. 5 times 8 is equals to 40. So, 0 na yan. Pero, meron ka pang dalawang 0 na titira bago yung decimal mo na i-align mo sa taas. So, yung, so yung dalawang 0 na natitira, ilagay mo sa taas. So, ang sagot dito ay... 3,000 uh, 312,500 kung i-divide natin ng 8. Ang tanong, Rico, 3 is to 2 is to 2 is to 1. Itong 3, yan ay kay Eric. Okay? Si 2, yan ay kay Rico. Rico. Tapos itong isa pang 2, yan ay kay Ben. At ang 1 ay kay Kara. Ang tanong lang naman ay how much money Rico will get. So, mag-focus ka lang sa 2. Now, ang gagawin mo ay itong 312,500 times 2. Since times 2 lang naman yan, obviously, ang sagot dyan ay 625,000. Letter D ang tamang sagot dito. Another way of solving this. Itong another way of solving natin ay kung naintindihan mo itong solution number one natin, ganun din lang, ganun lang din naman itong solution number two. Sulat muna natin si 2,500,000 2, pesos. Yan ay i-multiply natin sa total itong 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. Tapos, yung tanong ay si Rico. Si Rico dito ay pangalawa. So, itong nandito. Yang 2 na yan. So, yung numerator natin ay 2. 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. That is equals to 8. Now, 2 over 8. That is the same as 1 fourth. 
Bali, ni list lang yung 2 over 8 by finding the greatest common factor which is 2. 2 divided by 2 and that is equals to 1. 8 divided by 2 and that is equals to 4. Therefore, si 2 over 8 ay pariho lang sa 1 fourth. Now, 2,500,000 times 1 fourth. Pariho lang yan sa ito ay i-divide natin ng 4. Kasi ang mangyayari dyan ay magiging ganito na siya over 4. So, this is equals to 625,000. Ang problem na ito ay actually masusolve lang siya within 5 seconds or less than 5 seconds. Kasi nga, gaya na explanation ko, ito yung total na ilalagay mo sa denominator which is 8. Tapos, ito ay 2 na sa numerator mo. 2 over 8, that is 1 fourth. Ibig sabihin itong 4 na yan, yan yung pang divide mo sa 2,500,000. I-divide mo yan ng 2, that is 1,250,000. Ang 1,250,000 kung i-divide mo pa ng 2, and that is 625,000. So, masasolve mo siya in, in around 5 seconds. Now, let's do another problem. You cut a 3 meter string into 3 parts using the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3. How long will be the shortest part? Again, total. Yan ay 6. So, yung 6 na yan, yan yung pang divide natin sa 3 meters. I-divide natin ng 6. Ilang 6 ba sa 3? Kulang. So, dagdagan natin ang isang zero. Pero bago tayo magdagdag, yung decimal mo, nandyan i-align mo sa taas. Dagdag ka ng zero. 30 divided by 6 and that is 5. So, 0.5. 5 times 6 and that is 30. So, therefore, itong 0.5 na yan, yan yung pang-multiply mo sa 1, 2, at 3. Ang tanong lang naman ay how long will be the shortest? Ang shortest dyan ay yung 1. So, any number na i-multiply mo sa 1 ay yun lang din yung number. So, si 0.5 kung i-multiply mo yan ng 1 and that is equals to 0.5. So, yan na yung sagot. 0.5. Another way of solving this. 3. I-multiply mo yan sa... Yung denominator natin yan, yung total, 1 plus 2 plus 3. Ang numerator natin ay, tingnan natin yung tanong, how long will be the shortest? Ang shortest dyan ay 1. Yan ang ilagay natin dyan. Dito sa uh, denominator, 1 plus 2 plus 3, and that is equals to 6. So, 3 times 1, 6. Or pwede man umang idirekta na lang yan, 3 divided by 6, and that is equals to 0.5. Yan na yung sagot. Napansin nyo ba kung anong ginawa natin sa pag-solve sa onang problem, ganun din ang ginawa natin sa pangalawa. Paalala lang, merong ratio and proportion na lalabas sa actual na exam. Kaya wag nyong i-memorize yung sagot, kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Kasi ito yung halimbawa sa pagre-review natin, ito yung nire-review natin itong unang problem. Tapos sa actual na exam, ito yung lalabas. Ganun din naman yung paraan sa pag-solve. Now, let's do another problem. Mori wants to donate his 200 books to three kindergarten school in a 1 is to 4 is to 5 ratio. How many books will each kindergarten school receive? Receive. Now, itong ratio na ito, itotal natin yan. 1 plus 4 plus 5 and that is equals to 10. Itong 10 na yan, yan yung pang divide natin sa 200. So, 200 divided by 10 
And that is equals to 20. Itong 20, yan yung i-multiply natin sa 1, i-multiply natin sa 4, at sa 5. Yung isa, yung tanong muna, how many books will each kindergarten school receive? Ang isa ay 20, yung next ay 80, at yung next naman ay 100. So, ito na yung sagot, 20, 80, at 100. Ang total dyan ay 200. Ma'am, yung isang solution pa, mag-solution number 2 ka, gaya na, gaya na ginawa mo sa number 1 problem at number 2. Ganun din ang gagawin natin. 200, i-multiply natin sa, yung fraction natin ay ginito. Total ang nasa denominator, 1 plus 4 plus 5. Ang total niyan ay 10. Ngayon, ang, ang numerator natin ay yung 1. Kasi lahat naman ang tinanong dito, how many books will each kindergarten school receive? So, yung 1, next. Yung 4, next ay yung Para mas madali, ang gagawin natin ay ito ang i-divide natin. 200 divided by 10 and that is equals to 20. Tapos, i-multiply natin pa isa-isa. Ganito lang din. Kung ayaw nyo yan, isa-isa, 200 times 1 and that is equals to 200. Over 10, that is 20. 200 times over 10 pa rin. Tapos, dito na tayo sa 4. Pwede mo mang i-list yan siya. Si 4 over 10 by finding the greatest common factor which is 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. 10 divided by 2 is equals to 5. So, 200 times 2 over 5. 200 divided by 5 and that is equals to 40. 40 times 2 is equals to 80. Next, 200 times over 10 pa rin siya. At doon na tayo sa 5. Now, 5 over 10 ay pariho lang yan sa 1 half. 1 over 2. So, 1 half of 200 or 200 divided by 2 and that is equals to 100. Kaya ang sagot ay 20, 80 at 100. Now, let's read the next ratio and proportion problem. Ms. Villan Vill Villanueva donated 980,000 to three orphanages in the ratio of 3, 5, 8. How much will each orphanage receive? Ganun pa rin ang gagawin natin. Ang total nito, 3 plus 5 plus 8, and that is equals to 16. Itong 16 na yan, yan yung pang-divide natin sa 980,000. So, i-divide natin ng 16. Itong si 98, ilang 16 yan siya? Uh, 6, 16 times 6, and that is 96. 98 minus 96 is equals to 2. Bring down mo yung 0. Si 20 lang 16 yan, 1. 1 times 16 is equals to 16. 20 minus 16 and that is equals to 4. Bring down mo yung isang 0. Ilang 16 ba sa 40? Dalawa. 16 times 2 and that is 32. Now, 40 minus 32 and that is equals to 8. Tapos, bring down pa ng isa pang zero. Ilang 16 ba sa 80? 5. So, 16 times 5 and that is equals to 80. So, zero na siya. Meron pang natirang zero bago yung decimal na i-align mo sa taas. So, kopyahin mo na lang si zero dyan. So, therefore, this is 61,250. At ito, yung i-multiply natin ng 3... I-multiply natin sa 5 at i-multiply natin sa 8 para masagutan natin ang tanong na how much will each orphanage received? 
So, kung i-multiply natin ito, this is equals to 183,750. Tapos, kung itong 61,250, kung i-multiply natin sa 5, then that is equals to 306,250. Instead, nga i-multi, na i-multiply mo itong 61,250, by 8. Pariho lang din naman kung i-add mo itong dalawa. Kung i-add mo yan, this is equals to this is 10 kari 1, 10 kari 1 9, 4. This is 490,000. Bakit ka mo ma'am? 3 plus 5, that is equals to 8. So pariho lang din. 61,250 times 8 and that is equals to 490,000. Now, balikan natin yung tanong. How much will each received? Ang isa ay 183,750. Ang isa ay 306,250. At yung isa ay 490,000. Next. The ratio of the number of carabaos, goats, and cows in a farm is... 5 is to 1 is to 2. If there are 48 animals in these kinds in his backyard, how many of them are goats? So itong 5, ito yung karabaw. So itong 1, yan yung goat. At itong 2, yan yung cows. 48. Si 48, i-multiply natin sa, yung denominator natin, i-add mo si 5 plus 1 plus plus 2. And this is equals to 8. Tapos, doon tayo sa tanong, goat. Ang goat ay 1. So, yan yung numerator mo. Therefore, 48 times 1, 8. Or, 48 divided by 8. Pariho lang yan. And that is equals to 6. So, yan na yung sagot. Letter C. Now, for more examples about ratio and proportion, please see description ng video ito kasi ilalagay ko lahat ng mga na-upload na natin dati with regards sa ratio and proportion. Thank you for watching at ito yung abangan nyo sa next na video. Ratio pa rin tayo pero ibang ratio naman ito. Basahin natin yung mga problem na aabangan nyo sa next na video. The ratio of girls to boys is 4 is to 6. If the class has 90 pupils, how many additional girls are needed to enroll to make the ratio? 3 is to 1. Ang isa, the salaries of A, B, C are in the ratio of 4 is to 6 is to 8. If the increments of 10%, 20%, and 30% are allowed respectively in their salaries, what will be their salaries? Yan ang abangan nyo sa next na video. Thank you and God bless.